What do you do when you have a day off school? Well, I asked my 13-year-old daughter what she wanted to do, and she came back with a very peculiar answer. Instead of going shopping or doing a lot of other things, she said she wanted to go and pet some farm animals. Kind of an unusual thing for my 13-year-old daughter to say, but she does love animals, and I have to admit, I kind of really wanted to do the same thing, because who could ever want to turn down petting cute animals? So I did a quick Google search, and I came up with Todd Goat Farms. Todd Goat Farm is located on the corner of Tally Road and Todd Lane in North Garland. It's right there on the border where Murphy and Garland meet. So when you get there, the GPS is gonna take you straight to their house. Do not park in their driveway and don't go to their house. Park on Todd Road. You're gonna see it. It has a white little um, street sign and you can't miss it. Park there. There will probably be some other cars parked there too because the locals probably visit this place every day and this place is a very special place. As you can see from the photos, it looks like something that just came out of a Hallmark movie. Um, even with an old farm truck in the background, this place is absolutely gorgeous. So the story behind Todd Goat Farms is also really neat. Today we see all of our cities landlocked and houses are being built everywhere. So it's so refreshing to see that this little plot of land still exists. Now this plot of land has been in the family for many, many, many years. But in 1980, the Todd family decided they wanted to do something special for their granddaughter April and they bought her a goat. They bought a goat for the plot of land back in 1980. Um, by the way, April is now a very beloved teacher in Garland ISD. Now that one goat, which by the way, they named the very first goat Buffy, was the first of many, many more to come. In 2006, Mr. Todd decided to allow the public to go up to the fence and begin feeding and interacting with the goat. Mr. Todd passed away in the summer of 2019 and the whole city was pretty heartbroken by this. And it was at that time that his daughter, Pam, and her husband, Mike Baker, decided to move into the house to take care of the animals that are there. They wanted to carry on the tradition of people having a place to make memories with their, their loved ones. And so many of us are so glad they made that decision. So when you do go and visit Todd Goat Farms, please remember there's a few things not to take to feed the animals. Don't take the meat. Don't take them anything with chocolate. Um, they're not really good with citrus, so don't take them citrus. Take them things like spinach or sliced apples or carrots. Um, asparagus, cucumbers, those things that they would like. Mr. Baker usually lets them out around 8 to 9 o'clock in the morning. And if they aren't close to the fence, honk your horn. And they are already trained to go running right up to that gate. They love visitors, as you can see here. We had an extra special time here because when we were there, we got to meet Pam Baker. And she came out and she talked to us and she told us how special this land is and why they do what they do. She even gave us a really neat suggestion. She suggested to a lot of young men who go up there that they should actually take their date out there to feed the animals and the goats. And we thought that was a fantastic idea. Sometimes it's great just to enjoy the simple things in life. And this is one of those things. And this is something my daughter's going to remember probably forever. So if you have some extra spare time on your hands and you want to do something a little different, take a ride out to Todd Goat Farms out in North Garland. And I think that you'll leave making some good memories just like we did. Thanks so much for watching this video from Carrollton City Limits. And thank you for going with us on a little voyage outside of our normal city limits. Until next time, thanks y'all.